Hi, Aquarius. Thank you for being here with me. Um, this is pretty. Okay. Hope you guys had a good, a good weekend. And I hope you guys like the new set up here that we have going on. Okay. A little cozy vibe here. So Aquarius, uh, this is going to be your love reading. It is general. So please keep an open mind. Anything I'm saying here may be vice versa and interchangeable. All right, Aquarius, let's see what is coming to you in love. If you have Aquarius, moon, rising, or Venus, this will also resonate for you. What is coming to Aquarius in love? What do you have coming to Aquarius in love, spirit? Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius, you have make the effort, and you have release your ex. Ooh. Okay, so Aquarius, it is saying the time has come to clear your energy. So, you know, whether your ex is still physically around or your ex is still, um, you know, lingering in your subconscious, you know, you're still thinking about, you know, what, you know, that ex did or anything like that. It needs to be released. Spirit is saying that um, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so don't let your ex freak hold you back here, Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, you do have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, behind that is engagement and uh, very soon. So I am getting Aquarius that uh, perhaps um, this person could have even been holding on to their past experience or something like that that needs to be let go. That way you guys can properly move forward here. Okay. But it is saying that you should be making the effort, Aquarius. Aquarius in love. What is coming to Aquarius in love, please? Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, you have grown apart. There's distance between you and your partner. And you also have silence. Someone is avoiding confrontation. So let's see how this all um, ties into your reading. Okay. Aquarius, what do we have, please, coming to Aquarius in love? What is coming to Aquarius in love, Aquarius? Hmm. Okay. So, Aquarius, you have the lovers. You have the page of swords. Okay, you could be connecting with a Gemini here. Uh, we do have page of swords. This is Cancer. Okay, new or old, what's coming to Aquarius in love, Aquarius. Okay, wow, that's interesting, <laughs> that's interesting, Aquarius. You do have the King of Cups here. This could be a water sign, okay, but uh, this King of Cups I'm getting is the, is the good person, right? The good situation for you. Um, this King of Cups here cares about you, um... Whether this person's around yet or not, this could be someone who is coming towards you, okay, that is embodied by this King of Cups. That means, Aquarius, that this is someone who is looking for a commitment, okay? They have the capacity to love you properly, to give you exactly what you deserve, what you need here. This King of Cups I'm getting is a, is a good energy. It, I mean, could be the, a newer person for you. Maybe you recently met them or you will be meeting them within the next four weeks. Let's come into Aquarius in love, please, Aquarius. Wow, but then you have the six of cups in the reverse. So that's saying, Aquarius, your ex or someone from the past uh, could be, you know, getting in the way of all of this, whether emotionally or physically. What's coming to Aquarius in love? Or there's a need to just release uh, something from the past, something, if it's not the person, but something from the past needs to be released if this is to... Uh, go the long, the long um, run, okay? You could be connecting with a Leo here. Okay, you have the um, Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So there is an, op an offer, an opportunity here with this King of Cups.
there's an opportunity aquarius okay male female does not matter there's no real you know just gender in tarot you know this is just the energy of it okay guys don't don't lose it all right <laughs> But um, this it's very clear, Aquarius, that this person wants a union with you. This person wants to be with you, okay? But uh, like I said, there's something standing in the way here. It could be a person or something from the past here um, or even a relationship that's run its course that's time to let go here, Aquarius. But the person in question here definitely is seeking out a union with you. That's what we're seeing here. Okay, now that grown apart could be talking about a current relationship, a current situation. Okay. But this love right here is worth making uh, efforts for Aquarius. Effort to release the past um, or whatever. Let's clarify this um, page of swords for Aquarius, please. Okay. So Aquarius, you have the Eight of Wands. Some of you could be, uh, you could meet this person online. This could be someone that you recently started talking to, chatting up online. Um, and you could be kind of surprised at where this actually can go here with this person. Um, I feel like someone definitely wants a fair chance with you here, Aquarius. They do. Six of Cups reverse for Aquarius in love. The Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords, it's like, do I release my past or not? You know, someone is a little bit, um, I feel, oblivious to some kind of decision that needs to be made here. I feel like someone could be in um, an unfulfilling, unhappy relationship or a connection that's just not it, okay? Ten of Cups is in reverse, it's not it, but at the same time, someone's having a difficult time just releasing it here, Okay. So, uh, whether that's you or the person you're connected with, Aquarius, the sun for Aquarius, and the sun. Okay, but it's clear you and this person belong together here. Clarifying the sun is the lovers, and the sun highlights some kind of choice, okay? It, it highlights things. It, it brings it out into the open. So, what's coming out into the open here, Aquarius, for you or that person is that there needs to be a major decision made here uh, between two relationships, two people for some of you. What is the Ace of Pentacles? So, there is an opportunity here with somebody. Literally, look what's coming out. Knight of Cups, Two of Wands, and the Ten of Swords, okay? Which direction are you going to take? Which direction are you going to take for existing relationships? Okay. And obviously maybe you guys haven't grown apart. Now the question is, um, are you guys willing to let the past be the past? That way you guys can, you know, grow together as a couple and have a better future, you know, cause there could have been some things that happened between you and this person. Um, but spirit is definitely saying that the effort is definitely needed here. Um, and recommended because it feels like the person in question here really cares Aquarius, they really do love you. They care. Okay. This person is definitely seeking out um, to love you and a commitment here. Aquarius. Point blank period. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups. So there's going to be a need to uh, walk away from what's not working, Aquarius, and walk towards what is. <laughs> and what you, the universe has planned for you with this new person or this other offer that's coming towards you. If you go back on my channel, you will see the um, what can Aquarius you know expect from now to the end of the year. This is very similar energy, okay? to so what that reading was saying. It's coming to Aquarius in love. Let me get three more cards. You know, it can't be a third-party situation forever. Aquarius in love, what's coming? What's coming to Aquarius in love, please, Aquarius? Okay. But it feels like, Aquarius, at the end of all this, you probably will take that leap of faith, okay? You will take that, that chance here. You will. It feels like you will take that leap of faith. You will take that chance. And Spirit is saying, you know, it's 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 in your best interest too, honey. You don't want to miss out on the lovers and the King of Cups. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. Okay. And then you also have Justice. 
Two of Pentacles, here comes more of that juggling. Some of you I'm getting, if you are in a marriage or something that's just not what it needs to be, okay? It's, 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 you're going to end up shedding that, okay? You will. You sure will. Or if your person needs to make that tough decision here, it feels like they will choose this connection with you. They will choose love with you here rather than holding on to the past, um, you know, holding on to someone or something that's just apparently just not working, okay? It's the Fool for Aquarius. Tell me more about the Fool. The Ten of Cups reversed. You know, leaving behind something, right? Someone, a relationship, a connection that's not fulfilling, okay? Leaving behind whatever is not serving you here. I'm hearing the grass is actually greener. I don't know. That's what I just heard, guys. The grass is actually greener. Like someone better is around the corner or something like that, okay? Now, for some of you, probably already met this person. You probably already met this person, Aquarius. Okay? You probably already did. Okay? Um, and, you know, it's going to become clear who exactly this person is. Who are they? Who are they? You're going to find out who they are. All right, is there anything else you want Aquarius to know about this love situation? Anything else? Eight of Swords reverse is like you're going to kind of be getting out of your head here. And you're, you know, the decision is going to be made clear here, Aquarius. So what you're going to do. Feels like you're going to explore another connection here, Aquarius. Even though you have like your trust issues, you have your... You know, you're kind of like unsure and doubtful at times. It feels like you're going to explore something new, explore another connection, especially with the way this person is treating you, how they're treating you here. That's what I feel, Aquarius. Okay. Now, again, if this is someone that you already know, um, like I said, it, it's just saying that with the Six of Cups reversed, something about the past needs to be you know, reconciled. And once you guys do that, you can move forward. Um, there is overall commitment, loyalty, dedication to the situation, um, Aquarius. So, but it does feel like, you know, someone just needs to make that choice. But I feel like at the end of all day, at the end of the day, somebody will make this choice here and make the effort for this love and this connection. Okay. All right, Aquarius. So that is what I have for you guys. Thank you guys for being here with me. Talk to you soon.